One of the main reasons that we're interested in the dime novel format and just popular fiction generally is because this was the first form of literature that was widely available to just about everyone. So the Johansson stacks are right here. And then from this shelf all the way back is the uh, Edward T. LeBlanc collection. Popular fiction in the United States goes back to the 1830s and even earlier, depending on who you ask. Um, but the proper dime novel format was 1860 with Beatles Dime Novels number one. Dime novels were primarily sold anywhere but bookstores. <laughs> Tobacconists, train stations, drugstores. The main marketing tool of these publishers was probably the cover illustrations. Um, the more sensational and the more ridiculous, the better. The thing is, the cover illustration doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the contents of the story. Uh, so you might have a very dramatic and violent scene on the cover that may not be found anywhere within the text itself. There are some good ones, but they are by far the minority. Uh, most of them were written very quickly. The prose especially can be really terrible. These uh, stories about boy inventors, which were very popular, they're usually teenage boys that readers could identify with who came up with these fantastic technological inventions. More often than not, the inventions were some form of transportation, and they'd use this transportation to go to far off exotic lands um, and then subjugate the people that they find there. I think what is interesting about them from our perspective is their place in the history of literature, especially in the history of popular literature. So examining them from the perspective of the birth of the genre novel, the birth of the Western story, the romance novel, and also for the way that they've handled historical subjects or social, cultural issues. So we don't, don't have them because of libraries. Most librarians look down their nose at this. Most librarians would not collect fiction, much less popular fiction. They considered this trash um, and had believed it had a corrupting influence. The reason why these still exist today is because there were some collectors in the early 1900s who grew up reading dime novels and they felt so passionately about it that they devoted their entire lives to um, preserving these, cataloging these, etc. And it's taken a number of years for libraries with these collections to recognize their value and start to do something interesting with them. Mm -hmm.